Okay, <laughs> now we've got this car in. Hands-free system is locked. State the password to continue. Which basically means the previous owner has got the password or set a password up. We don't know what it is. Eight, eight, zero, zero. Incorrect password. Please try again. Eight, eight, zero, zero. Incorrect password. And it's, it's, <laughs> so I, I can't set the Bluetooth. Uh, I can't delete a mobile. I can't stream audio because the system is locked. So hopefully, uh, I think I know how to do it, but we'll see. So turn the ignition on. Well, turn the engine on. We're in park. Wait for the system to come on. Got a settings button there and map there. So if you click the settings button and the map and you keep them pressed, there you go, it's brought up a, the, the secret menu. And over here we've got hands-free module. Now if I go into hands-free module, you'll see there it's got arrow code and unlock. Now, and it also makes this awful noise, so I'm gonna turn that down. So we want unlock, unlock. Do you wanna cancel lock mode? Yes. Lock mode cancelled. Okay, so now, now we've unlocked the voice activation. If we go to, we press the button here. Ready. Settings. Select one of the following. Pairing options, confirmation prompts, language, password, select phone, or select music player. Pairing options. Select one of the following. Pair. Edit, delete, list, or set code. Pair. Start pairing procedure on the device. See the device manual for instructions. The pairing code is 2126. So, hands free system, click on that. 2126. Pair. Allow contacts and favourites to sync. Allow. Hands-free system there, connected. That's it, that's how you do it. Please say the name of the device after the beep. Barry's iPhone 12. Adding. Barry's iPhone 12. Is this correct? Yes. Pairing complete. Would you like to import the contacts from your mobile device now? This may take several minutes. No. Available options are yes or no, or say cancel to return to main menu. No. Okay, so that's how you pair a mobile. Of course, you've, you've got to have Bluetooth uh, on, and uh, it, the pin number doesn't come up, so make sure you're listening to the pin number, because I've just had to do it twice. Right, okay, now, if we go to music, go into music there, click play, and then at the bottom there, you see hands-free system. So hands-free system, that's the uh, Mitsubishi uh, system. So what we have to do now, let's just go back. We'll turn that down, it's playing. Now we have to go over, you've got audio there, if you click audio. Um, let me see, you've got settings and so on, but we want mode. So mode along there, Bluetooth audio, click Bluetooth audio. That's playing now. So if I turn that up and then quickly. There you go. That's how you, uh, that's how you stream music from your phone. Um, as I say, if you go to mode, it could well be on any of those other uh, settings there. So you just have to like medium wave, click mode back to Bluetooth or, or DAB or whatever. That's how you do that. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you how to delete a mobile uh, or clear the system in this 2016 Mitsubishi Shogun. It's not as easy as you, you would hope really, but anyway. Ready. Setting options. Select one of the following. Pairing options, confirmation prompts, language, 
password, select phone, or select music player. Pairing options. Select one of the following. Pair, edit, delete, list, or set code. Delete. Please say one for iPhone. Two for Where is iPhone 12? Or all. All. Deleting all devices. Is this correct? Yes. Deleted. That's it. That's uh, that's how you delete them. Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav system in, in the 2016 Mitsubishi Shogun. It's it's not the easiest system I've ever used. I've got to be honest. And I mean, you you look at it from from any screen. If you go to Navi menu. It's not saying root menu, and you go through all those. It's not showing you where you to put a, a, an address in. You've got map there. Again, map. Nothing. Nothing there. But down here on the right hand side, there's a little checkered flag. If you click on the the checkered flag, it's then giving you the destination uh, menu. So go home address, junction, point of interest, postal code. Click postal code. All postal codes. Right. So. We we'll click on there. We're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantonydale, Preston. P R five four J S. I will say a good thing about this is the numbers and the letters are all on the same screen, so you don't have to keep going from which to which. Now you've you've got there set. Um, however, setting it doesn't do anything, so you you kind of get lost there really but what you have to do go to all streets uh, with Chorley Road so click on C and it's brought up Chorley Road straight away set again and now you've got the option to click start to go where you want it's, if possible make a u-turn it's not it's not an easy system to use I've got to say it, it really isn't um, do what I do use your phone Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.